Hello everyone, Nathan here. And I thought I would start a series, and we'll see how far this goes depending on how much interest it drums up, on like an intro to modding for mind test. Um, of course, the first place you should visit if you want to do any sort of modding is the mind test forums. Um, once you actually have a mod made, oh, well, nice to get an error. Once you actually have a mod made, you can. Essentially, you can put it in whip mods, which are work in progress mods. If, of course, the website's working when you do this. I'm not sure why I'm getting a 502 bad gateway error. Okay, well, anyways, this would be the place I will link to this in the video description. This would be where you would post your mods, um, questions about mods you would put into modding discussion. Again, not sure why I'm getting a bad gateway error. Um, but first thing you are going to need to do any sort of modding is, and actually, no, we are going to, we're going to do this. We're going to just do, um, we'll just create something called new mod and as a folder. Now, if you have installed any mods, you will know that mods all go into the mind tests folder into the mods subfolder and as you will notice I have quite a few mods so I'm just gonna open this one back up now a mod is comprised of nothing more than Lua documents which are pretty much the code of everything and then you might have textures you might have sounds um, we might have maybe models. If you're doing anything with 3D models, which are now supported as of January 1st, actually I think it was December 28th of 2014, they officially made it into the official build. They were available for that long before with the um, daily builds. But pretty much this is what your breakdown would look like. And so you'll have your Lua file, textures if you have them, sounds if you have them, models if you have them. If you don't have these, of course, you don't need those folders. And then you need something to edit it with. Now, if you are on Linux, you can use... I No, don't use LibreOffice. I mean, I if you really want it, I suppose you could. I wasn't trying to open that. I was trying to open Text Editor. You can just use good old G-Edit or whatever your text editor is of choice. I choose not to, though, because it doesn't quite have as many features. Um, the three I would recommend, and these are, I think, all cross-platform. Uh, J-Edit, rather. Um, I have that on my system. I use this more for doing XML and RSS feeds, but it would work perfectly well for Lua-type things as well. I dislike it because it takes a long time to load. It's, it's a Java-based thing, so it is cross-platform. And you'll see I actually have a mod loaded up in here. Um, there's a... While developing mods, you're supposed to keep lines shorter than 90 characters. This blue line is right at the 90 character mark. Should be at the 90 character mark. Thought it was. I don't know. I thought I'd put that at 90 characters. Anyways, so it gives you that option. As you can see, I am totally breaking that in some places here. It's all right, though. Um, obviously, you know, not everybody's going to follow that rule, but I mean, it's kind of recommended. Notepad++. Um, don't, do not, do not, and I seriously mean do not use Notepad on Windows. Definitely no, do not do that. Um, Notepad++, I do not believe, is available. Yeah, this is a Windows only. So if you're using Windows, Notepad++, it's pretty quick. I've used it on my parents' Windows computer. And then we have Genie. I'm assuming how that's pronounced, seeing as how you have a Genie lamp. Um, this one, I believe, is cross-platform in that it'll work on Windows, Mac, and Linux. If I could find the download button here. I will link to the home pages. Oh, 
where's the downloads? I'll link to the home pages of all of these programs in the video description. Mm. Oh, found in releases, that's why. Windows binaries. Um, chances are Genie is going to be available in your Linux repositories, so you can just search for it in Software Manager or in Synaptic, or whatever package manager you may happen to use. Um, I'll pull up Genie here. I have installed as well. Loads much faster. It's it's ready to go. No waiting for Java libraries to load because it's not a Java based thing. And then let me actually open a recent file. Again, this is my more fires mod. Um, again, you get the little green line here, which is configurable. I don't offhand remember how you do that. Um, preferences, and then it was under, here we go, line breaking column, I actually have it set to 80, Ooh. 90, and apply, and that'll jump over a little bit, should have, but I didn't notice it, um, actually that green line is at 72 characters, 90 would be right here. Uh, G-Edit and Genie both have this where they'll give you column, I'm assuming this will stand for column, and lines. It gives you your overall line, max 557 and 348. These are handy because if you are running your mod, and let's just, let's just put an error in here. Something that's going to crash it. Um, like an extra comma. Or take out the comma to do too and save it and then pull up mind test and then we'll create a new and just call it test version six that's fine we'll configure it nothing needs more fire save play and we should get a well that's weird I would have expected it to crash seeing as how it's not properly formatted Okay, well, let's mess it up even more. Let's do that. Grave mode doesn't need that on play. It may not crash till we place that. What is this? This is more fire embers. Okay. So we'll just do. More fire embers, and we will place it. Wow. Put wood on the fire. Well, what's the deal with that? It should have... Oh, I bet I know. Hey, where did my brick go? Where's my block of wood? There we go. Not too enough. I have a feeling because nothing's trying to burn this. It's burning. But nothing is trying to burn it. Let's grab a piece of wood from here. This is like way too much work just to show you the kind of error you should theoretically get. Okay, so that wood's burning. I should try and burn this campfire. Should be an operative word here. Probably gonna start a big. Okay, well, I'm not sure why I'm not getting an error. Let me undo all of that stuff. Um, I don't know what could I do instead. To, <laughs> what could I do instead to get an error? Um, let's just go. Okay, I understand it's taking way too long, and I do apologize for that. I just have to find something where I can make an error that'll actually just work where it's going to crash it. Default torch, blah blah blah. No, I don't think that's going to do anything. Wait, how about if we do it as a tool? Of course, then I do have to have the tool in my hand. Man. Okay, well, anyways, because I can't figure out how to make an error, which is kind of silly, because I made zillions of levels coding that. 
Uh, usually, when you get an error, it'll tell you error online, whatever. You know, say error online 327. So, with any of these programs, you can say, well, there's a line on 327. Go away. I'm on line 462. This also has all the numbers here. So you scroll up, and then you go 327. Oh, and in this case, you know, it could be some you're missing a comma. And it'll usually tell you what your error is if you look into the error log, which let me actually pull that up here for you. That'll be in the parent folder where your mods directory is. You'll have a debug. And this file constantly gets added to. It does not erase it ever. So right now, mine has um, 18,644 lines to it. The file is 1.4 megabytes. So, yeah, it, it will get big. Um, but like right here, you have error unknown name for rotation, stair, stair, woods. Um, so some mod I have has a lot of errors in it. There's getting a lot of warnings here. It's something you want to look at when you are starting to code up something. Because you'll, you'll start getting these things. Oh, right here. I just didn't throw enough of an error to crash it. Warning, undeclared global variable flam. Access that. Home Nathan mind test mods more fire in its Lua line 278. Which 278 is where we modified flammable to flam. So it threw up an error. It just wasn't enough to crash the game. So, but you would still look at this as you're coding, even if you're maybe not getting any crashes, to make sure you're not getting any warning warnings here, or like this. I get all these cannot load textures. I don't know why. I've tried fixing it. it doesn't seem to go away. They don't wreck anything, but I'm sure it slows the engine down a little bit throwing up these errors. So you have that same thing in whoops. Same thing in G edit here. <laughs> it was automatically reloaded. Or uh edited so they reloaded it. And same thing here and they give you the little numbers for what lines you're at. I don't like G edit quite as much. J edit. Wow, I gotta get these names right. J edit. Because I have numbers but I can't collapse things. In Genie here I have my test register node more fires embers. If that's all working and good, I can just collapse it all down to one line. And I went from 269 jump to 301. So I can keep things looking much nicer here by closing down the ones that I don't need. So maybe I'm working on, you know, one thing here and that references something a little higher up. I can close those down and reference from here to this up here and I have to scroll through you know, some odd 200 lines. So that saves a lot of time and is pretty nice. Of course, you have your standard finds. You have, and this will be in all of them, you have uh, replace, where you can do, of course, now I can't find it. Way to make me look like an idiot. Oh, search, yeah, duh. You have find, find your files, replace. So say, like in my case. Initially, I actually had my mod called more underbar fire. Underscore? I don't think it's underbar. Anyways, and then later on I decided, you know what, I should use lowercase because it's it's nicer. It doesn't throw up errors at all. So I just went to using everything at lowercase. So, and I already had a whole bunch of, you know, every node that I already had programmed was using the uppercase. So you just did more fire and then I just did Replace and find, and for some reason, that just found one. Wait a minute. Oh, case sensitive. Helps if case sensitive is turned on when you're doing something like that. So in my case, I don't have any more fires in the mod right now. Okay, well, that's, that's kind of the text editors. Those are the three I would recommend. Um... Again, I'll have all the download links in the description here. We have JEdit, we have Notepad++, and we have Genie.